What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Agent Peely from Fortnite. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So the top of the eyes are flattened down. So on the left side, let's draw a straight line from left to right, going across the top of the eye. I'm going to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line this up and draw that same length line on the right side. Now we're going to connect the outside to the inside with a half circle. So let's start on the left, go down towards the bottom of the eye, and pull that up. We'll do the same thing on the right. I want to make sure that we come down to the same height that we have on the left, and then back up. Now we're going to add a small half circle on top left of each eye for the highlight. So start in the top corner, curve down, and then up. Do the same thing on the right side, coming down, and then up. Let's fill that outside area in black. Let's move to the center and draw the mouth. We're gonna move down and just draw a short line going across from left to right. Now we're gonna move out and draw the lower edge of the head. So on the left side, in line with the mouth, I want to curve down and then in towards the center point. And I'm going to curve this up and out towards the right, towards the same height that we have on the left. Let's draw on the side of the head. Now both sides are peeled open. So we're going to start on the left side. We start with an angled line going up and in around the eye. And we're just going to bend this up and then out towards the left. Now let's go to the right. We start with an angled line going up and in. We just want to curl this around a little bit further. Going around, and we'll pull that down. Let's draw the inside of the peel. Starting from the left, we're going to taper this, coming in and then down towards the side of the head. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. So we're going to taper this, going up, and we'll pull that down. Now we're going to bend the top of the banana over towards the left. So we'll start out here, curve in and up, and we'll bend that out. Let's round out the bottom, come down and up towards the right. And then from here, I just want to curve out and then down towards the right side, towards the bottom edge of the peel. Now we want to show the inside of the peel. Starting from the top, I'm going to curve up and then in with a short line. And we're going to follow that same curve, coming in and then down in behind the head. Let's go to the right side. From here, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and out. Now we're going to go up towards the top, and we'll taper that down along the inside of the peel. Now we're going to draw the top stump of the banana, but we're going to make it look like it's sticking out. So from the top corner, we we'll draw a short angle line going up and out towards the left. Go to the inside and draw that same angle line. Now we'll connect the tops with a curve, and down, and then back up. Go to the top corners, we're going to draw a short angle line going up and out toward the left, and then the right. Let's close off the top of the curve, going up and then down. Now I'm going to draw that same angle line that we have along the bottom, along the top. Coming down, connect the top and bottom with the straight line. And then we'll add a couple cracks along the stump. Starting on the left side, we're going to draw an angled line going across the bottom edge. And at the top, draw a short line going up. Let's go to the top right and draw a short line coming down. Now from the top corner of the stump, we're going to curve out and then down in behind the peel. Sort of aiming towards the side of the banana, coming down. Now we're going to move down and draw on the bottom. Let's start with the bow tie. In that center point, we're going to draw a circle, going all the way around to the bottom and then back up towards the top. Let's draw on the sides of the bow tie. On the top left, draw a short angle line going up and out toward the left. Go to the right, go up and out towards the right. Now we'll come down to the bottom of the circle, angle down and out toward the left, and then the right. And then we're going to close off the end. Starting from the top, we'll curve out and then back in. Now we're going to go back up towards the bottom corner of the head, curve down and in towards the inside of the jacket. We'll start on the left. Curve down, and we're just going to bend that in towards the center. Go to the right, come down, and then bend that in. 
Let's draw in the shirt collar. From the left side of the bow tie, we'll draw a straight line coming down. And the same thing on the right. Now from the bottom, we're gonna angle up in behind the bow tie and up towards the left side. We'll go up, continue on the outside towards the outside edge of the jacket. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom of the bow tie, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down. Let's draw on the side of the body, but we're gonna taper it in towards the hip. From the bottom corner of the head, we're gonna step down, we're gonna curve in, and then down towards the bottom of the jacket. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna step down, we're gonna line this up, curve in, and then down towards the same height. Now from the center of the jacket, we're gonna curve down and out towards the left, and then the right. Let's add in the collar of the jacket. Starting from the center, we're gonna taper this up and out towards the left. Go back to the center, curve out, and up towards the right. Now we're gonna add an indent with a short angle line going up and in, and then straight out. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll continue this curve going up and out towards the bottom corner of the head. Let's add a little bit more detail to the body. We start over on the right side. We're gonna start with a button with a small circle. Then we're gonna move over and add a pocket square, starting with a straight line going across. Now we're gonna step in and draw two angle lines going up towards the center and then down. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're gonna move down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down for the lower torso. Now I'm gonna leave a small gap in the center, go to the left, curve out and down towards the left heel, go to the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, and curve down and then up towards the toe on both sides. And then we want to round out the top of the foot. So from the toe, we'll draw a half circle, curving up and aiming towards the heel, but we're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop right about here and we'll blend this to a curve going up towards the inside of the leg. Do the same thing on the right. Start by curving up, bending that down towards the heel, and then blend it to a curve going up towards the inside of the leg. Let's thicken up the sole. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And now we're gonna go up to the bottom corner of the jacket and round up the side of the leg. On the left side, I wanna step in, curve out, round up the leg, and then pull that down on top of the foot. And do the same thing on the right side. We're also gonna add the bottom edge of the pant on the inside. So from the inside of the foot, we'll curve down and then up, and the same thing on the right. We're also gonna add a strap across the right thigh. Starting from the inside, curve down and up, step down, and draw that twice. We'll add a simple gun holster. From the top of the strap, step up, draw a short line going out. From the bottom of the strap, step down, draw that same length line, close off the end with a straight line. Now from the top corner, we're gonna step in, draw another line going up, and we'll pull that in towards the side of the leg. Now let's move up and draw on the arm. We're gonna start with the inside edge of the arm, lined up with this notch in the collar. So we're gonna step out towards the side of the body, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. We'll line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. Start from the wrist, we're gonna draw a half circle, coming in and then back out, and we'll draw a bracket at the end. Do the same thing on the right, coming in and then out, and then we'll add that bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom curve of the thumb, come down, and then bend this up around the bracket. Let's add two more fingers. Stepping down, curve down and up the second finger. And then the third finger, we're gonna start out here, curve out, round up the arm. I'm gonna pull this up towards the base of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's add the cuff and sleeve. Starting from the top of the thumb, I'm gonna curve up, and then out towards the outside of the arm. We'll step up and draw that twice. 
Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top of the thumb, curling up and out. Step up and draw that twice. And finally, I just want to add the watch tucked in underneath the cuff over on the right side. So we start with a half circle, coming down and up. And then from the left side, go across towards the inside of the wrist. Go to the outside. We're just going to curve this out and then up. And that's pretty much it. There's Agent Peely from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in soon.